Today I fucked up by calling out a potential creep at the gym. This may be one of the longest TIFUs you have ever read. Whether you skim it over or read it all thank you for listening. This happened just a couple of weeks ago. I've been really struggling to build my confidence to return to the gym since it happened because I'm so fearful. My therapist suggested talking about it to friends to help me process it. I have no friends but I do have read it so here we are. For a bit of context, I'm autistic, have social anxiety, depression and have recently found a gym that I really, really like. The pool area is comfy, it was a real safe space, more like a leisure club more than a gym. I felt very happy going for a little swim before sitting in the sauna and heading home. It was really helping my mental health and self-care. I'd had a pretty bad day on the day it had happened. I was going to go home and he alone and drink myself into a silly state of stupor. I drove past the liquor store without really thinking about it, grabbed my swim gear and headed to the gym. Now I'm not very physically fit. I have kept records of how much I've been able to do each time that I visit and it sadly hasn't really improved. My enjoyment and recovery time has though. I can usually do around 10 lap swimming of this big pool before I'm done. I got about halfway through but these girls kept swimming in front of me. Even though you're supposed to swim clockwise to allow a flow of swimming, traffic, without people interrupting each other. I decided to get out from the pool and take a break because it was really bothering me but I didn't want to say anything. Now this is where it all goes wrong. I'm relaxing in the sauna when I notice a guy in full gym gear enter the pool area, he's even wearing shoes, he slaps himself down on one of the chairs and pulls his phone out. I mentioned earlier I'm autistic. I really struggle with people's body language, subtle hints, and with the help of a professional I've become much better at paying attention to these things. I was pretty bored and exhausted after my small swim and I took notice of him because he stood out, the way he was dressed, his demeanor. I didn't assume anything bad, I was just, curious? Well, he was holding his telephone very upright, tilting it in different directions. Whenever the lifeguards got nearby he would turn it down or away. Strange behavior I thought to myself. Then two girls entered the sauna room, they couldn't have been older than 12 or 13. They were whispering to each other how they wanted to leave, do you think he's staring at us? I assumed they meant the person I had also been observing as everybody else was just going about their business. They agreed to leave and they did. I have some family members their age who swim at this place during kids sessions and I imagined it being one of my nieces or cousins. I left the sauna and went to grab my towel, when I circled around the back of him I noticed his camera was open. Now don't get me wrong, I completely understood that I could have have just misunderstood or there was a reasonable explanation. But after what I'd heard in the room from the other two girls I decided to speak up, because even if he was doing nothing wrong his behavior was making people feel uncomfortable and he should have a little more awareness. In such a situation, the thought of getting involved fills me with so much fear and anxiety that I'm crippled and unable to do anything. I've been trying out, exposure therapy, recently with the help of a professional. It's all about taking your anxiety to a level 5-6 out of 10. When you can, in situations that you may panic or feel powerless when in to help you confront and get used to those feelings. Approaching him personally was out of the question. I decided instead to go up to one of the on-duty lifeguards and I informed them, I think somebody may be taking pictures of people over there, at the end of the day I had no real evidence to present but I figured the worst case situation would be it's all a misunderstanding and the fellow would be more aware when using his telephone in a pool area. Oh god I was wrong. After I'd told them my anxiety really spiked, because well, I guess I'm just a little broken and even doing that was so difficult. The male lifeguard approached him and said something before leaving, the other chap changed his demeanor instantly. He was no longer pointing his phone around but had it held down while giggling to himself and smiling, frantically using his phone. The entire time my stupid brain is coming up with fantasies of him finding out it was me and murdering me. I swear his shoulders were the size of my head. Shortly after the lady lifeguard approached him, it was quite obvious she was looking through his telephone. She gave it back to him before the guy walked back up to him. The chap in question then pointed exactly to where I was sitting. The terror that filled me was unreal. I don't know if the lifeguard informed him it was me who had said something or if he had just figured it out as it happened right after I went to talk to them. He charged into the room I was sitting in. Bearing in mind it's a dry sauna, I've already been sitting in here for a good 10 minutes as the situation unfolded. I was already feeling a little dizzy and out of it. He instantly started defending himself, telling me I have the wrong idea, 
that I'm a weirdo for even suggesting it, that he has his own kids and he'd never do something like that. He was very aggressive and intimidating. I know that might not have been his intent but the entire time my panic attack had begun, I informed him I'm Anna victim of physical and sexual assault and he was triggering me and just had to leave. The male lifeguard also informed he, he is, a member, of the staff. And his friend. He managed to drag him away and left me exiting the steam room, near the side of the pool while I was having a full-blown panic attack. It was the worst of my life. I couldn't even straighten my fingers because they were seizing up even though I was in so much pain. I had to get escorted out of the building by the lady lifeguard and I haven't felt safe enough to return since it all happened. I thought about talking to management but it's so difficult to stop illogical paranoias especially since he knows who I am. I really, really thought that the worst case situation would someone calmly telling me I had it wrong but thank you for looking out for yourself and other members but I got a lot more sadly. I wish I'd never have said anything. I could still be going there and enjoying myself without worry but my newfound conscience pushed me to do otherwise. For context, his reasoning was that he was only using Snapchat for selfies and that's why his camera was open. Whether it's true or not I'll never know. Too long did not read. Went the gym. Saw someone using camera in pool area. Reported it staff. Got accosted violently by person in question. Haven't been able to return since. Wish I never did it. My own fucking fuck up upside down face. Absolutely not your foo. You made a totally reasonable call, and simply informed staff and let them deal with it, which was the perfect response. The staff should not have singled you out after what you told them. I'd recommend reporting this to the management at the gym. I would have done the exact same thing as you man. It's weird. He didn't even interact with them like they were his kids that's just weird man. If those were my girls and someone stood up for them like you did I would be so grateful man especially when that takes as much courage as what you have. You genuinely have a good heart man and you made the right decision. 